I have dated this man for four years now. I love him, but the emotional abuse is killing me. He's a chronic womanizer. He has been sleeping with our landlord's daughter and her cousin. When I confronted him, he said I'm being paranoid. He tells me he's going for night shifts and ends up at a woman's house. I got to know all this by going through his phone. Before anyone crucifies me for going through his phone, let me make things clear. I am a very faithful woman. It got to a time I was having recurring STIs and UTIs. When I confronted him, he had the guts to tell me that I got them from another man and not him. That day, I cried my eyes out. Because of that, I decided to check his phone. There's a whole lot I can't type here. Now my issue is, we are engaged and set to marry soon, but I don't love this man anymore. How do I tell my family that I want to opt out? Please help me. Okay, so yes, this is a sister who needs a bit of help. Emotional abuse for four years, doesn't want to be in this marriage. How does she go about it? Tina. <laughs> Okay, so I'll go straight to the point. Um, she knows what she she knows that she doesn't want the relationship anymore. So that is a good thing. Um, she's very decisive now. How to communicate that to her people or to the two families is what is important. Now, um, if if you if you were going to get married, then you want to save face and 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 spare everyone the details of what's going mm -hmm. into the marriage mm -hmm. because you never know if tomorrow you get into the marriage and now you are you are good enough then people will now start looking yeah. at you yeah. like hey, this girl and stuff like that so you can look at all the stuff that will make you look dirty mm -hmm. in in terms of the STIs and those kind of things and state the fact of the matter of what he has done why you cannot continue. Mm. So you, you, you need to call your family because now it's, the matter is in front of the two families. Right. So you go to your family, um, say, i.e. your mother first, if, if your mother is around. The motherly figure is always the one who would you know, accept this. So you talk to them, letting them know or letting her know that, listen, this guy is cheating on me. I found this and that and that. This is my evidence. Mm. I don't want to enter into a marriage that, you know, state your case and tell them why you won't enter into that marriage. 70% or 80% of the time, you will get the support from your family. There are a few families that will say, oh, don't worry. <laughs> you know, there are a few um, people who would say that but because of the way you've put your message i think you're a very strong woman decisive and you know what you want so push your agenda hmm. don't enter so once you are being convinced if you are being convinced stay on the course now f for the families that will support you now they would rather take the matter out of your hands and you don't have to deal with his family right so on that level, I think that is how you, the route you should use it, use. Now to him, before you leave or finally when you pack your bags and you are leaving or I don't know, it sounds like you're coexisting or, or something yeah, because sure. not so. Yeah. So you, yeah. you just, okay. Yeah. So it sounds like when you're breaking it off, let him know that you're not a pushover. You're not... You, you can leave him, but make a statement so that he knows what he's going to miss. You have said to us that you're a faithful woman. Let him know he will not get your type anymore. Mm. You know, it is very important. Sometimes it's good to leave the relationship just quietly and go if it's... But this one, he's taking a part of you in terms of... Sleeping with other women, w women lying in your face, giving you diseases. Charlie. Charlie, this is so disrespectful. So, yeah, you are cutting your losses, but let him know that, listen, this, 
is over. I'm picking up myself because I respect myself. I'm walking away. I will get a better person to treat me right. Mm. And just go. Your parents will deal with the rest. Your family will deal with the rest. If they need you to come and answer any questions, make yourself available. Mm. Don't be emotional. State your case and walk. Charlie. You'll be too much. <laughs> so we are talking like as yes. if you've been called right now and <laughs> make what kind of <laughs> lawyer. If so, Olivia, <laughs> weigh in on this for me. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Tina has said it perfectly well. Like, you know, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, in a nutshell, I mean, Charlie, it's not that it's not a, a relationship you should be in. Um, I mean, what value is this guy adding to your life? He's giving you diseases. He's cheating on you. And he's blatantly lying. I mean, like, Charlie, what kind of geezer does that? Well, clearly he does that. So, um, like Tina said it, me, I would have just done the papa pa and I've just told him that Charlie, my guy, showed him the results from the hospital about the SDIs. And the fact that he had the impudence to also imply that you were cheating, Charlie, some way, like, I oh, me and I blasted him. Yeah. Blasted him and giving him my peace of mind and giving him the, what do you call it, the, the test results from the hospital. Because, you know, some STIs, if you don't treat it properly, they can actually lead to cancer. So, Charlie, Even all this wahala baby. for what? Charlie, is he's so not worth it. He's not worth your time, your emotion, your space. Charlie, I know that a lot of time has been invested into it, but I mean, you're you're a smart woman, like T is saying. You know exactly what you want, and it's not to marry him. And you and Twatwabia, tell him that Charlie, you're not in for this kind of relationship, and dish the guy. Like I always say, if you're left, near right. Now say Charlie, you're better to do Now Charlie. But Charlie was Jana Manako, and she Jana Manako, and then deal with the family, you know, the way that you have to deal with it, the very traditional way. Me, my mind is a bit different, but I mean, I love Tina's submission that Charlie, this one because you've actually got into the whole engagement, you know, stage, so it's now become a family affair. So she was on point when she said that. So run along with what Tina said, and I think you're good. And um, in your next relationship, Charlie. Don't uh, be a bit more cautious, okay? Don't, don't, you see, um, I think we keep saying it on this show time and time again. When you're, in, um, when you're in a relationship, don't let it drag too much. And when I say don't let it drag too much, I'm not saying that, you know, pressurize the men into marrying you. But there's some basic things that you need to watch out for in terms of um, marriage potential um, husband or marriage material potential in, in, in a potential husband. If you see that the guys don't take your boxes, don't waste time. And if a man says they want you and they love you and they cherish you, they don't waste four years, five years. They do all sorts of things and then chale some way. So chale, it's your life and it's all about you as well. Sometimes it's good to be selfish. And in situations like this, you have every right to be selfish about your happiness because your, your happiness is your sanity. So sweetheart, get out of the relationship. At least you learned and then move on with your life. You'll be good. I'm sorry that you had to go through this though, but hmm. you'll be fine. Okay, Gail, um, I mean, so far, Tina and uh, Olivia saying, get out. Is that yeah, really I mean, get out, yes, you have to get out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no idea, it's, 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 you know, it's a given. Uh, yes, she has to get out. But I understand why she's a bit worried about the family because at the end of the day, they say he who wears the shoes know where it pinches. So, mm -hmm. of course, she knows what she's going through. So, whether the family agrees to for her to leave the guy or not, that's besides the point. She has to leave for her mm. own sanity. But I think she's just worried about the fact that maybe I don't know how far they've gone with the preparation. They've done the engagement. Mm. They've done the engagement yes. already. So then they're married. So they'll be married soon. Yeah. So obviously, like the white wedding. Yeah. obviously mm -hmm. maybe they've made plans, the venue and stuff like that. So when it gets to that point, it'll be hard. How are you going to, you know, sort that out? Maybe you've paid for... For like I said, a venue. Maybe you've bought uh, whatever your gown, your, white, yeah, your gown and everything. And everything. <laughs> Charlie, the whoever, best man or whatever. Everybody so is set. So that out. is what I think she'll be worried about on how she will let them know. Sometimes too, so you'll be worried about the embarrassment. Mm. People mm. will be thinking, oh, what happened? Is this something mm. you did? Or oh. yeah, so to see it as a failure or something. Because for her to stay in this thing for four years, mm. the guys abused her. 
mentally, I don't know if it beats her up, but mentally, she's really, really taking a lot from the guy. And it's also made her feel like she's the problem, especially when she found out that, I mean, she got all those diseases knowing that you're the only one she's been with. Mm. And you have the nerve to tell her that she she's the one. So when you guy. know you didn't do it and someone tells you you did it, that's, that, that, that's a lot to take, mm. you know, mentally. So, I mean, and I don't know if she's told the guy that she wants out. Because she's it worried about the like family. It. Yeah, Not so yet. It shows, she, I, mean, she, I don't know if she's been able to break away mentally. Because mm. you could tell your family that, yes, I want to get out. But you yourself, are you ready? Because it doesn't sound like she's ended it and now wants to tell the family. Mm. So the point right is she should worry about her and the guy. I don't know if, if it's an abusive guy. Some guys will be like, hey, if I can't have you, nobody else can have you. Sure. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that type of thing. Mm. I don't know how he's yeah, going to re respond. Because <laughs> I think she's afraid. When you're in an abusive relationship for a very long time, you become a bit like afraid to break away mm. from because you're so used to that you know you don't want it but you still cannot move away. away yeah because four years the way she's saying four years and people feel like because i've been with someone for that long then i need to be in there and make it work mm. and you know one thing i realized especially with the african men nobody should chew me up i'm just <laughs> saying what <laughs> indirectly <laughs> chew me up <laughs> okay like, let's I go think that a lot of things that they take for granted that that um, sense of entitlement because mm. the cheating thing is, is it comes easy to them like hey it's in our DNA mm. you have to accept it I remember one time someone told me if I want to have a man to myself I should go to the cemetery oh wow yes that's hey. why I'm going to get a guy to myself because there's wow. no way yeah some of them wow. say like why can't women accept that that's who we are and you hear the guys talk I have friends you talk to them Talk about cheating so easily. When they're about to get married, do you know what the friends tell them? They say, well, you don't worry. As soon as you get married, I give you six months. You start cheating. Back. Yeah, something. Ah, yeah. Easy. yeah. So it's like, if you don't cheat, you either are missing out. Or you, they are you. Wow. Or you don't say, yeah, yeah, exactly. You, <laughs> they oh. are you correct? Are you the own? So it's like, wow. Charlie. so sometimes I ask myself, do the guys know the effect of what they do on the women? Or they've just taken it like, we're supposed to just accept it because women all we do is nag if a woman is angry at you for cheating on her they'll be like oh you're bitter mm -hmm. or you're just talking so i don't know if they're just not capable of realizing how much damage they're causing somebody else so what the lady should rather worry about is how she's going to break away from the guy mentally because physically it's very easy to check out from someone right. physically mm -hmm. but mentally because if you come up now you tell the family everything they, they say, okay, if that's what you want. There are some families who, who will not even say or oh, try to convince you. They'll mm. be like, it is how you feel. Hey. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah, we'll support then you. they agree. Then you now, you go back to the guy. Mm. How about that? Yeah. Mm. So she has to rather be ready to move away from this guy mentally. You know, that's what's more important. If she's ready for that, I think the rest is easy. If, if you feel ashamed because you didn't get married, hey, nobody died from um, breaking, of breaking off. Yeah, nobody died yeah. from that. So I think her worry should rather be on how she's going to move away from the guy. Because mm. some, guys, some, some guys don't take these things lightly. Right. Yeah. Hmm. That's what she should worry cheated. about. Yeah. So, oh, but some of them don't care, like I'm saying. Some guys, when you, when you catch them, they'll make you feel like you're the one imagining things. And it's not like we've not all been there. Hmm. That's the annoying part. You know that. You know that that's what the person is doing. That he'll make you feel like you're imagining things. I mean, nobody should go through that. Hmm. You know? That's actually a great angle. Yeah. 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 I mean, all I have to say is this, right? You're not married to this guy. Yeah, you've been dating for four years. And you're already getting STIs, UTIs, oh, yes. STCs, hmm. BBCs, <laughs> CNNs. I mean... <laughs> um, and, you, like, <laughs> what are you waiting for? Like, you want to get married and get maybe HIV or mm. something? Yeah. Like, I don't... I'm actually surprised that she's contemplating because for me, for me, the highest level of disrespect would have been that point mm. where he told me that I have probably yeah. gone to sleep yeah. elsewhere yeah. when I know I've been faithful to him. Like, it's so disrespectful. Mm. Like, how dare you? Mm. Mm. You know, I feel like he does not respect you at all. Um, this man does not deserve the rest of your life. Right? 
Um, I think that if you're old enough to marry, you should be old enough to take bold decisions, right? Your family's opinion matters. But if your family really cares about you, mm. they won't say, oh, and, mm -hmm. and push you towards something they know is just going to go downhill. Mm. You know, I mean, I can imagine if I came to my dad and I said, Daddy, hmm, I brand it now, me, I made it in bed for you. Know? Mm. But do it. Yeah, my father, yeah, he yeah. will get up <laughs> and probably come with his rifle. You know what I mean? He will support me a hundred percent. Yeah. And, and that's what family is supposed exactly. to be. You know, yeah. so don't be scared. Actually, just go to your family and tell them you have proof. Go ahead and show them a doctor's mm. reports. If you're saying recurring STIs, you, you have like proof, no? Go to them, show them, make a case. Like Tina said, I don't want to drag this. Mm. And just get out. There's someone who deserves you more. Definitely. Don't don't tie yourself down <sighs> that. And I don't want to be like, we're always on this show telling people, leave their relationship. It's not even about that. But some of these situations are just downright ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just saying. Messages. Oh, Mustafa oh. says, it's time to abandon the ship, my dear. It's clear he doesn't love nor respect you in any way. Whatever you are not able to change whilst dating will only be magnified mm. during the marriage. Mm. Think twice. C says, you're putting on a shoe and you know how tight it is for you, not your family. Mm -hmm. Run for your life, else be ready to suffocate and die in that marriage. Marriage should be enjoyed, not endured. Mm. Herbert says, if he can't sacrifice his womanizing behavior, then he's not ready for a lifetime relationship. Neither does he love you. Leave him, sister. Do not hesitate. Nana says, madam, it's your life. A chronic cheat? Hey, you are brave, oh. Mm -hmm. And still around after getting all those STIs, mm -hmm. you are not married to him, so you have no obligation to stay with him. If you are my sister, I'll tell you to leave. Simple. Your life is precious. Gloria says, Madam, it's your life and your choice. Tell your family you want out. Tell them and um, do not seek their opinion. He will do worse okay. if you marry him. YOLO. <laughs> As he says, this is no big deal. Tell them. You're the one going into it and not them. When he says, please, I want to understand something. Engagement as in traditional marriage or as in a promise ring on your finger. Go home to your parents and sit them down. Talk to them. They will see reason with you after which you can call for a meeting with his parents and together with your family, tell them the reason why the marriage cannot continue. Brown says chronic cheats will never change after marriage. A broken engagement is better than contracting HIV. Mm. If you cannot leave him, then get ready to endure and keep praying for change. It's up to you. And finally, Rita says a man that is sleeping around and infecting you with diseases. No, you don't know how to tell your family. You are no longer interested in their marriage with him. Come on, this is your life we're talking about here and not your families. Charlie, apart from good health, you also need peace of mind mm. and sanity. Mm. You can't live the rest of your life fighting mm. him over this attitude. Leave that relationship ASAP. You don't owe anyone an explanation. Every single text says leave. See? I don't know what you're waiting for. Thank you so much for watching Sister Sister on your favorite City TV. Now, don't forget, if you want some more exciting content, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We call it the City Tube. And don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications for fresh updates. Sister Sister, every Friday at 9 p.m., only on City TV.